Hi, I'm Clayton from Australian Direct. In this video, I'd like to educate you about inverters, uh, help you choose the right inverter for your application, and then show you through the range of kick-ass inverters. And these are extremely high quality and excellent value for money. So what is an inverter? Simply a device that you can connect to your 12 volt battery systems or battery packs, and it will convert that 12 volt DC power into usable 240 volt power, i.e. like the power point at home. And often people will use them to charge up their laptops when they're traveling. They might want to charge up their batteries if they're a tradesman, for example, uh, in their cordless drills. And you can even go up to the higher powered inverters if you want to run things like refrigerators or you want to run um, things like microwaves. And we're going to talk about running microwaves as well. Now, in the range here, you'll see they start small and they get bigger. And the reason for that is that the inverters basically have an output what's called watts, okay? And that's, that's the amount of power you can take out of the inverter. So the smaller ones obviously are smaller wattage and the bigger ones are a higher wattage output. So I think it's important for me to show you how you can determine the amount of watts you're going to need uh, or how, much, how many watts you're going to be drawing by just giving you an example on some 240 volt appliances. So here we are with the range of 240 volt or mains powered appliances. So if we were to have a look underneath, for example, this toaster, and you'll notice on most 240 volt appliances, it'll have a uh, description here of what, the, what it is and the power consumption. So this one's 850 watts. And for example, this is a Milwaukee battery charger for their cordless tools. And you'll see that this one says 240 volt, 90 watts. So a massive difference in the power consumptions in wattage. Something to note is that devices that heat or cool, so toasters or microwaves or air conditioners, anything that heats or cools will generally draw quite a lot of power and you need a big inverter to run them. Whereas things like battery chargers, laptops, that kind of thing, they don't quite draw as much. Now, some of the laptop um, power supplies don't have clearly written how many watts they draw. Normally it's around a maximum of 150 watts, so a 300 watt inverter will run them. I'm going to talk a bit more about microwaves in this video. Uh, one thing to know is that the actual cooking power is what the microwave sold on. So if it's a 700 watt microwave, it doesn't mean that it draws 700 watts. It means that's how much cooking power it provides. So for example, this microwave here, if I spin it around, you'll see here that it's a 650 to 700 watts output microwave, but the input is 1100 to 1150 watts. Now, if you can't determine the wattage of an appliance, I do recommend these. You can get them uh, on eBay or at Bunnings. Uh, it's a little uh, power wattage meter that you can plug into a power point and actually measure how many watts a device draws. Now, I keep these at home just to kind of get an idea of what my appliances are drawing, like how much my alarm clock draws and that kind of thing. So a handy device to have. And using one of these into the power point, device plugs in, you'll be able to work it out if you can't ascertain. Now, when you're running an inverter, you always want to keep a bit of headroom. And what I mean by that is if you've got a 1,000 watt inverter, you don't want to run the inverter at 1,000 watts all day long. And it's kind of like your car. You're not going to get in the car and leave it on 6,000 RPM because that's, you know, that's the, the maximum RPM of the car. You're going, to, you're going to use the car and just drive it and keep it around two to 4,000 RPM. So same with inverters. So I, I recommend 20% uh, headroom. So for example, if you've got a device that uh, draws uh, 800 watts, then I would use a 1,000 watt inverter, just, to, just so the inverter is not working its butt off all day. But one thing that I will note is all of our inverters that I'm going to show you do have a surge output of double their rated capacity. So if it's a 1,000 watt inverter, it will surge up to 2,000 watts for a short period of time. And that's so things like motors and things that have a high startup power when they get going for a few seconds, but then cut back to their normal consumption can run off of the inverter. Okay, so just remember that. Now, if you just want to run one device off of an inverter, then you just need to work out the power consumption in watts, and you need to make sure that your inverter can, is capable of running that device. Remember the 20% rule. If you want to run two devices, then it's quite simple as well. You just add them together. So for example, we've got a drill here that's 90 watts. Now let's say, hypothetically, this laptop uh, power supply here drew 100 watts. 
then collectively it would be 190 watts of power consumption. So that's your total consumption. Give yourself a 20% headroom, a 300 watt inverter will be fine to run that. So if you want, want to run multiple devices, just add them up and you work out the total consumption. It's time to do the microwave test. Now we have so many customers wanting to run a microwave off an inverter. You know, grandma's cooked you up an amazing lasagna. You know, you're, you're on the beach, waves are crashing. You chuck that lasagna in. Presto, five minutes later, you're having grandma's lasagna on. I mean, what could be better than that? And I'm gonna show you that it's possible with a kick-ass inverter. Now, what you can see here in the setup is the kick-ass 2000 watt inverter. Now, this is the inverter that I recommend. Of course, if you want to go to the 3000 watt, we're not stopping you, um, but the 2000 watts fine. Um, now, what we've done is we've sourced some microwaves that have got a low consumption. Obviously, microwaves range from, you know, 600 watts cooking power up to, you know, industrial microwaves. So what we've done is we've sourced some microwaves for you that have a low power, uh, power consumption, so they'll run easily on the inverter, and we've tested them to make sure they work. So either you can buy one of our packages or you can go and source your own microwave. On the input side, you wanna make sure that it's not more than 1200 watts. And remember that the microwave power is different to the input, uh, the consumption of the microwave. So this one here is, I think, a 600 watt microwave, but it draws around 1200 watts when it's running. Now into the inverter, I've plugged uh, this little watt meter just for the sake of the video to show you uh, how much power it's drawing. You see at the moment, it's, the microwave's drawing 0.6 of a watt, and that's because the little display is on. Now the inverter is connected to the battery via the short cables, and then the inverter is connected to the microwave. So it's time to uh, put some water in the microwave. There we go. Now we're going to set the power of the microwave. We'll go two minutes, boom, and away we go. Water's cooking, everything's working perfectly. Now, remember that it does draw a lot of power out of your battery system. So you wanna make sure your battery that you're running from has, is in a good, good state of charge, and you're not gonna be running the microwave for hours on end, because it will drain the battery flat quite quickly. Now, if you want more information, we'll have a write-up on the website about that. I'm not gonna get into all of those details, but I will say running the microwave for a short amount of time is gonna be fine. Now, we look at the uh, power consumption here from this microwave, and you'll see that it's drawing around 1200 watts. Okay, so everything's working fine. Grandma's lasagna's in there, cooking away, and you're done. So, on the website, 2000 watt inverter or 3000 watt inverter for your microwaves, either buy one of our package deals or go and source yourself a microwave that doesn't have an input rated power of more than say 1200 watts. It's as simple as that. And remember also, if you want to, um, so yeah, there you are, you can see that the, uh, the water's already warm, okay? Uh, if you want to, you can also run a toaster. So I'll just go and grab the toaster. The trick is when you're buying these things, you go into the shop, you're buying them and you start looking at the, uh, the packaging and try and find a device with a low power consumption. So at home, you want the most powerful toaster you can get, of course. But when you're using it for camping, you wanna try and find something that's quite efficient. So we plug the toaster in. Okay, so toaster on. Boom. And you can see here, very, very close on the power consumption side, 830 watts, and it's rated at around 850. But if you look inside, you'll see that the toaster's operating fine. You make yourself some Vegemite on toast at the beach. So there we have running a microwave or a, uh, a toaster or any high-powered appliance. Now, air conditioners are a different story. Really, in our range, I don't recommend any of our inverters for running air conditioners. Um, I recommend getting a generator um, to run things such as air conditioners. But electric fans, that kind of thing are fine. Like I said, sleep apnea machines, modified sine wave, sorry, pure sine wave inverter. Um, pure sine wave inverter, check with the supplier of the sleep apnea machine as to what size they recommend. Or you can check with one of these watt meters, which is even easier. Plug your sleep apnea machine into one of these. We're not selling these at the moment, we might later. Um, but otherwise, just get one down at Bunnings and you can work it out for yourself. So here we have the kick-ass range of inverters, and I've got to be honest, I'm really happy to have these on the website. We've worked really, really hard with kick-ass to find an affordable and quality 
inverter. Now there's a lot of garbage on the market that's downright unsafe and also unreliable. Because we're bringing these in directly from our manufacturer, we can keep the cost down and give you anodized aluminium frames, um, really, really good internal uh, components. Um, these units have low battery cutout so they won't drain your battery flat, they'll cut out before that happens. They've also got overload warnings and protection so if you try and draw too much power out an alarm will go off and the inverter will switch off. So really high grade units. Now in the range there's a variety of sizes depending on the wattage of course but there is one thing that I'm going to show you first which is a modified inverter. Now all of the inverters in the range except for one are what's called pure sign. This is a little modified. Now a modified inverter is older technology, been around for years. Now modified sine wave isn't exactly the same as the PowerPoint at home. So there are some devices that won't run properly from them. But the devices that will run fine are your laptops, uh, battery chargers for drills, plug packs for mobile phones, that kind of thing. And I've brought this unit in because you know, some people just want to get a really affordable inverter for, for running devices such as that. So this is a little modified. It comes with a cigarette lighter plug so you can plug it into either our battery boxes or your vehicle. And it all comes, also comes with alligator clips so you can connect it directly onto a battery. Now if you want to, you can also cut them off and put ring terminals on. Um, moving up from the modified, uh, we have a 300 watt pure sign. Now the 300 watt pure sign wave is, will run everything. It's exactly the same as the PowerPoint at home. So those of you uh, who want to run things such as sleep apnea machines, that kind of thing, um, pure sign is what you need. You need to check the power consumption, by the way, of uh, sleep apnea machines uh, to see what they draw. Some have a humidifier um, and many people will basically turn that humidifier off because that's what draws most power. But you can speak with your sleep apnea machine manufacturer, just as a side note. So this one is a pure sign, comes with a cigarette lighter socket. And uh, I did forget to mention that the, both of these units have a 2.1 USB output. So you can charge your mobile phones as well or your iPads or whatever from that USB output. So there's the, the two units. If you want to keep your cost down, you've got the little 300 here modified or you've got the 300 pure sign. Now, a very, very popular size is 600 watts. Now 600 watts draw too much power at full capacity to be able to run, be, uh, run from a cigarette lighter plug. So I've really thought about how to do it. And uh, what we've come up with is this great little concept of having an Anderson plug. So these are the uh, ring terminals that connect onto the inverter itself. And then you've got an Anderson plug. Now many people who have got our portable battery packs or have got a 12 volt system set up have Anderson plugs. And what's great about them is you can just plug it straight into an Anderson plug and you're away. Now what about if you want a 600 watt inverter and you don't have an Anderson plug? No problems, we've got an adapter included which will give you a couple of ring terminals. Now if you don't want the ring terminals, you want to hardwire it, you can cut those uh, alligator clips off, put a couple of ring terminals and connect it permanently to your battery and it's easy to remove the inverter if you want to. So super handy, now that is only with the 600 watt inverter. 600 is a really good all rounder. Um, I use mine and obviously you've got to check all of your devices um, but you know for a stick mixer in the kitchen um, if you want to do some cocktails on the beach you can run your laptops they really are a versatile uh, inverter the 600 so after that we can't do the Anderson plugs anymore because the bigger inverters need to be connected directly to a battery via short heavy duty cables now the 600 watt inverter and the 1000 watt inverter is a little bit different too because they don't come with the USB charging output. Not a big deal because obviously you can plug your phone charger into the inverter and remember with any inverter you can also plug in a, a, power, a, a power board like a, from Bunnings power board six way output. You can plug that in, plug everything in. Now so that's your 600. Moving up to the 1000, as I said this one doesn't have a USB but what we start to bring in anything over the 1000 you get the remote control and you might say well, what do I want a remote control for? Well if you're installing the inverter into a caravan or a camper, a camper van, you might want to put the inverter in a cupboard somewhere out of the way, which means it's not easy to access the switch, to switch it on and off. So what you can do, you can use this uh, remote control, which has got a really long lead, and you can actually mount this to the wall or somewhere convenient and switch your uh, inverter on and off remotely. That's super handy. So all of the inverters from 1000 and up come included with a remote control. Now most people are going to charge you for that. It's a very good quality remote. Now all of the units we've been talking about up to this 1000 
uh, have one single uh, output socket, one, one power plug. After that, we, with the 2000 and the 3000, you actually get two outputs. Now, in the 2000 and 3000, you get your USB socket uh, back as well, your USB plug. So remember that the 600 and the 1000 are the only ones that don't have the USB socket. Everything else, the 300s, the 2000 and the 3000 do have the USB socket. Now the 2000 watt, you're starting to get into some really serious power here. And what you'll find with these inverters is they come with either one or two sets of, depending on the size, I, I believe the 1000's got one set and the 3000 comes with two sets of battery cables. You can see that they're short and they're very heavy duty. Now the reason for the short distance is because we don't want to lose any power along a long cable. So that's included and these need to be connected directly to a battery. So you can do that quite easily. Um, if you've got one of our battery boxes, you need to take the lid off and you'll need to run the cables through the battery box directly to the inverter. The 2000 and 3000 watt inverters are, are for those of you who want to start getting into heavy duty stuff like running a toaster or running a microwave. But remember that when you are uh, running these heating or cooling appliances that the inverters will use a lot more power from your battery and drain your battery a lot quicker. Um, so I do recommend when you, when you get up to these, these size inverters, it's okay to run them on a 120 amp battery if you're using it for occasional use. So for example, if you're gonna run a microwave for five or 10 minutes to heat up a meal, but I wouldn't be doing that if I was running a catering business and just running the inverter all day off of one battery. If you're gonna be using the microwave or your toaster all the time, all day long, you need to look at a bigger bank of batteries and you can talk to us about that if you've got a commercial application. All right, so we've got the 2000 watt unit and then we've got the big kahuna here, the 3000 watt unit. Now these are some serious inverters and remember that these units also have, all of them can handle for a very short period of time, double their capacity. So if you've got an electric motor that draws twice as much power when it starts up for a few seconds and then drops back to its actual normal uh, power consumption, these units will handle it and they, they do what they say. A lot of them say they'll do double the output and they fall over, these will not do that. That concludes my uh, demonstration of inverters. If you've made it all the way to the end, uh, congratulations for being patient. I'm Clayton, I'm the owner of Australian Direct. Now we've got sales team standing by who can answer your calls. Lots and lots of information on the website as well. Uh, a video to watch is our ultimate dual battery system video that talks about our portable battery packs, such as this that have got all your SIG sockets and that kind of thing. Um, built into them. We specialize in um, solar panels, dual battery wiring kits, AGM batteries, absolutely everything you need uh, for your 12 volt setup. So feel free to send us an email, give us a call anytime, the number on top of the screen, and thanks for watching.